uh, thank you so much for the opportunity given. My fellow young men and women, this is not a country that we used to know. As youths of this country, we have been quiet. We have been seated listening to the ideas of our politicians and our elders. Our voices have never been heard for some years. Now it is time for the youth of this country to go on the political podium and speak. As we speak, we expect all the politicians to keep quiet and never should they, they criticize or politicize our ideas. Because this is a group of people that claim or that feel that they have answers and solutions to the problems of this country. How many political parties do we have in this country? We have many of them. But what solutions are they providing to this nation? All we hear are insults. Each and every time they open their mouths to speak, what comes out from their mouths are words of division. Oh yes, we must speak. This is our country. And there shall never be another country than this country that we have. And hence we are part and parcel of this country. It is time that the elders, the politicians, must listen to us and accept our ideas. If they are not going to listen to us or accept our ideas, we are not going to force them. We are not going to, 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 to conduct unnecessary demonstrations for them to listen to us. We are not going to block the roads for them to listen to us. We are not going to put this country in trouble. We are tired of being used as political tools by these politicians. We are tired of being hired to harass the innocent citizens of this country. Because now we are young men and women of the noble character. We are the young men and women of integrity. So if they won't listen to us, it will be their neighbor and the world at large that will laugh at them for refusing to listen and to accept the vibrant ideas of their own sons and daughters. Remember, the most difficult war or fight to fight, it is not against the machine gun, but it is against a man's conscience guided by conviction. We cannot pretend that things are okay in this country. The 2016 general elections have left some wounds which are not healed up to now. This country is politically divided. If you go to southern province, to the Tongaland, which is considered to be the territory for UPND as they call it. If you go there, you put on the political regalia of PF or another party, you'll be beaten, you'll be harassed, you'll be humiliated. If you come to Lusaka or you live in Lusaka, you cannot mingle freely in a political regalia of UPND or another political party because that is considered as, as a territory for PF, as they call it. Today, we have some chiefs, chiefs that are supposed to educate, to advise the politicians how to live in peace and in unity with one another. But these chiefs, but these chiefs, they are either on the side of the ruling party, 
or on the side of the opposition political party. Hence, they decide who should visit their palace and who should not visit their palace. This is not a country that I used to know. As a nation, we know very well where we have gone wrong. We know what is supposed to be done and we know what is not supposed to be done. Don't we have problems? We have problems. Don't we have solutions? We have solutions. But why should we wait for the Americans to come and tell us what to do? Why should we wait for the Europeans to come and tell us that we must have a dialogue? Why should we wait for other people to solve the problems for us? Why are we not ready to listen to each other and sit down and discuss? But we are only ready to have a discussion when the Europeans are around, when the, Euro the, the Americans are around. What is it that has corrupted our mind? What is wrong with us? The problem we have in this country is that we have got a selfish readership. A selfish readership in the ruling party, a selfish readership in the opposition political parties. Because everyone is not ready, everyone is not willing for discussions. But remember, any man that refuses to sit down with his opponent and discuss their dispute cannot read a nation. It is time that we must sit together as a nation and discuss where or what we can do for us to take this nation where we want it to be. What kind of a gen what kind what kind of a country are we going are we going to hand over to the next generation? Are they not going to laugh at us? You are always saying we are res youthy. After all, we are not res youthy. We are hardworking young men and women. But we are not enjoying the fruits of our labor because our produce is being stolen by those that think that they are more smart than us. But this time around, we are not going to spare any politician, either in the ruling party, either in the opposition, because you are not doing the right things. All of you, you have messed up it is time that we must retire some of these politicians. We are not leaders of tomorrow, but we are the leaders of today. This must stop. Thank you.